All right, let's look at factoring quadratics where our leading coefficient is greater than one. And so I've represented 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 over here on the right. And once again, like you really just have to play around with these. Um, remember, you don't want any pieces just laying, laying on the side or hanging out. Um, if you find that, uh, you know, what you're doing is not working, just turn the pieces around and move them around like a puzzle. Remember, we want this to be kind of a, like a rectangle. So I have my x squared. I move those. I always work with your x squared first. It's the easiest. And just keep in mind, you almost have to like think about working backwards. I have three ones. And most likely, they'll either be horizontal like this or they'll be vertical. So knowing that, you know, maybe I just need three rows of one X's down here. Right, that'll take care of that. Let's see what happens. So if I put three here and I put three more, let's grab a handful of these here. All right, and you can kind of see this is shaping up to work out. Okay, I just got to rotate this guy. And when I do that, well, that's perfect. Now I have one, one, one. I can slide these over. All right, so what does this look like? What are my dimensions here? I have x and x. So I have x plus x plus this dimension is 1. All right, and going down here, I have this dimension is x plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So that's x. plus one, plus one, plus one. All right, so let's rewrite this. Let's see, I have x plus x is two x plus one, the quantity two x plus one times x plus three. All right, 